Good morning, SM. On today's show, we have News with Kelly, another teacher feature, and Cheeto Man Trivia 2. The weather outside might be frightful, but this show is sure to be delightful. So without any further ado, let's get started. Eagles. I'm your host, John Burton. And I'm Lance Oster. John, before we get started, we have some announcements to get out of the way. That we do. Eagles, don't forget about today's varsity baseball game. It's at home, so make sure to fill the nest for an incredible team. Now that we are caught up on school announcements, let's see what's going on outside of school. Good morning, SM. I'm Kelly Dodson here with your weekly news update. This past Sunday, April 30th, the Rofer family held the first annual Bradley's Honor Walk in honor of their son's passing earlier this year. The event was held on Sunday morning at the RSM League. The walkathon was to honor Bradley's life and continue his mission of helping in sick and injured children in our community. The month of April was observed as National Donate Life Month, so the walk was not only in honor of Bradley's life, but for all organ donors like him. The event was a success as it brought together the community to support Bradley and his mission. In other news, earlier this week, 250,000 gallons of sewage water spilled into the LA River in Downey. This event caused beach closures all around Long Beach. The sewage spill was caused by an equipment malfunction. The sewage overflowed into the streets, but the county sanit sanitation crew is currently in the process of cleaning up the beaches to open them as soon as possible. And just as they're working hard in Long Beach to clean the beaches, our con construction crew at SM is working hard on renovating the gym. As you may have noticed, mass was held at Solano yesterday because of the construction. Facilities is planning on installing new bleachers and new flooring for the refurbishment of the gym. The new gym is planning on opening up at the start of the 2023 to 2024 school year. And with that, we have come to the close of this week's news update. I'm Kelly Dodson, now sending it back to Lance and John. Thank you, Kelly, for enlightening us. You know what else is enlightening? No, John, enlighten me. Our teachers. That is so true. And we even have a special teacher feature with Mr. Robeson in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week. What's up, SM? It's Carrie, and welcome to the second episode of Teacher Feature. I'm here with Mr. Robinson. So, Mr. Robinson, what classes do you teach? I teach sophomore religion and junior philosophy. All right. Can you share about your career history? I started actually 40 years ago. I um, taught eight and a half years at Modern Day, and then I taught um, 30 and a half years at Santa Ana High School. In Santa Ana, and then this is my second year here at Santa Margarita. What are some hobbies that you like to do on the weekend? I like to surf, I like to swim in the ocean or in a swimming pool, I like to walk along the beach with my wife. Yeah, that's about it. That's cool, thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in, SM. Hope you like today's teacher feature. Now, sending it back to the host in the studio. Thank you to Mr. Robinson for coming on the show. What do you think, Lance? Well, John, I loved it, but I did get a little hungry, so it distracted me. Well, we do have a food-related segment that might be more up your alley. Might it be Paul's Pastries? Oh, not today. Jaden, take it away. What's up, guys? We're finally back for Cheeto Man Trivia Part 2. Let's get going. All right, now I'm here with Frank. Frank, what sport is dubbed the king of all sports? Uh, I'm gonna go with cricket. It's incorrect. The correct answer is actually soccer. Now I'm here with Shu. Shu, what's the name of dried plums? Is it raisins? No, it is prunes. All right, now I'm here with the weather girl, Tara Mee. A puffling is the baby name of what bird? A parrot. This one was actually obvious, it's a puffin. What? Now I'm here with Cassie Beaumont. Cassie, what animal can be seen on the Porsche logo? A horse. Correct. All right, now I'm here with Reagan. Reagan, do you know the name of the first female pilot to fly solo across the Atlantic? Amelia Earhart. Also correct. 
Now I'm here with Nora Gamini. Nora, do you know how many bones sharks have? 152. Sharks don't have bones. That's more like it. Nothing compares to Cheetos with a side of trivia. That's an interesting statement, John. You know what else is interesting that we haven't mentioned? Five of our very own Eagles are track league champions. Congrats to Eddie Unker, Roman Mendoza, Brady Furr, Zach Gibson, and Soph Dog Pillay. Congratulations to all our champion Eagles. But unfortunately, that's all for today. So thank you for a great year, Eagles. So signing off until next year, I'm John Burton. And I'm Lance Laster. May the fourth be with you, SM.